All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. So, as was expected, eventually U.S. oil production is roughly close to peaking and looks to end up coming in right in the range that I was expecting at presently 13.4 million barrels per day, fluctuating between 13.2 and 13.4. It's likely to end up on average peaking out in the mid or upper mid 13s. I always felt the most likely range would end up being between 13.4 and either 13.7 or 13.8, with some tail end upsurgence chance that it could pop up to 14 once or twice. But the elements coming together to form the wall that U.S. oil production is about to run into and thus cause it to peak are a combination of, since most of the U.S. production growth has been from shale oil, the shale has been played out, it's run its course. Most of the shale plays have been covered over. They don't really have any new or further territory that has been untouched by them for the most part. As you can see on the overall playing field, the number of active wells being drilled, of active drilling rigs currently in work, has decreased because, as I said, they're just reaching the actual limits of the different areas. And also from last year through this year and on forward, the actual productivity of shale wells is about to begin plummeting because in order to keep drilling several hundred wells at a time in the three-dimensional space underground, the actual horizontal wells are starting to have to be placed so close together that they are now causing interference with each other, with many as close to each other as 600 down to only 400 feet apart, whereas the minimum distance spacing for non-interference would be about 1,600 feet apart. Otherwise, you get counteracting drainage effects, which in essence works like this. Shale wells are drilled horizontally and then hydraulically fractured. It cracks the rocks and then the petroleum begins to drain out of the rocks. However, if you place them too close together, closer than 1,600 feet, or especially as close as some of them are now being only 400 feet apart, then a increasing portion of the petroleum that is in that overlapping area is going to be experiencing a pull from both well boreholes from both directions. And thus, if it's closer to one, it will still go towards that one, but will do so a lot more slowly because it is feeling a drainage pull from the other one, and thus going towards the one that is closest to more slowly means that obviously less oil is being produced by that well. And even worse, the oil towards what would be the periphery, the outer area, of the hydraulic fracturing effect would already be experiencing the weakest drainage effect, feeling the weakest pull, and now will be feeling basically the same amount of force in a different direction from the neighboring borehole in a position of having the two different competing drainage forces effectively canceling each other out. Individual well productivity is now starting to drop where it maxed out in the Permian, for example, at the average fractured well, hitting a peak production of about 900 barrels per day within a month or two, and then declining to about half that amount within eight months. Now, over just the last year and a half, the average has dropped down to peaking at about 800 barrels per day within a month or two, and then declining down to half of that in just six months instead of eight months. So the Permian is already leveling out around six million barrels per day, which is roughly the range I thought. La Ken should start dropping soon, and Eagle Ford should be able to hold on a bit longer, stick around one or 1.1 million barrels per day until probably 2026 or the end of 2026. And after that, they'll probably start going down too. Overall, U.S. oil production will still go a bit higher and will still have some flotation for a bit, primarily now because there are a decent number of larger fields in the Gulf of Mexico that are coming online in the next year or two, along with over the next couple of years, a number of projects coming online back up home in Alaska. So all in all, U.S. oil production is likely to creep a bit higher slowly and get into the 
upper mid 13s or maybe even the upper 13s themselves have a bit of a rough fluctuating plateau there for a couple years but then the collected weight of everything together is going to be too much and it's going to start coming down at a decent pace i would say most likely it's going to drop and get back down to or below 12 million before 2032 but anyways, that's the end of this one. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. There's a link in the description to a free to access Google Drive full of all kinds of different graphs, charts, and data compilations. There's a link to my photography Instagram as well. And in the top pinned comment, there will be a link to my cat's YouTube channel. May God bless and protect all of you. And I will see you all around next time.